You know what? It's made it to the point where there's more drama than there is positivity. We need to change that. We got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. Hello everybody, my name is Amber and I am the Black Directioner. So it's another Wednesday where we talk about the things that are blowing up in the fandom. So let's go ahead on and get this started. How about we start with the least problematic, Liam. Liam has not been seen for a good couple of days. Ain't nothing been going on with Liam. Liam is unproblematic this week. Be like Liam. And then, okay, so now with Niall, there's not really anything necessarily going on with- ah! I saw a bug. There's not really much things going on with Niall, to be honest. Um, I just saw this rumor today, actually. Um, and there's this Twitter page that's called Modest Exposed or whatever. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a joke, but this is what they're saying. They're like- Here's now they're like, Niall is not the innocent guy you all think he is. He has a lot of people he sleeps with and smokes weed a lot. The reason you just don't hear about his relationships is because their old team had no point in putting him in the papers as he didn't have anything to prove. He is a very nice guy. He just doesn't fit the image you all think he had. Of course, this is supposed to be like supposedly a rumor and everything like that. But one thing that I do want to address that I personally think that the fandom need to start realizing is that we don't know One Direction as much as the facts that we know because we've been fed these facts, you know what I'm saying? Which um, brings me back to last Wednesday whenever we were talking about Solo Zane versus Solo Harry. And I got quite a few comments and quite a few people who um, inboxed me and texted me um, discussing that video saying that they don't think Harry would do that. Well, I just want everybody to know that we don't know what really goes down in you know their background world and everything like that and maybe we were fed these images i mean zane of all people said that he that we were fed the image of him being mysterious and quiet and he's like that he really isn't like that but they told him to be like that so that he could live up to that image so as far as we're concerned maybe that thing about what harry said about zane maybe that was real i mean but we're stuck like with the fact that Harry's this nice and awesome guy and he's down to earth and he would never say anything like this. Like, we don't know that. You know what I mean? That could actually be a background of Harry's side that we've probably never seen. You know, there is a such thing as dark everybody. And that's probably a dark Harry moment. And it could be real as far as I'm concerned. That's all I'm saying. So I'm not saying that this is a rumor or that this is fake or that this is supposed to be funny. I'm saying that maybe... Maybe Niall does smoke weed. Maybe Niall does sleep around with a lot of people, but we don't hear about that because he just doesn't show it or whatever. But I don't want everybody thinking that he is just this cute little Irish guy. Like, you know, there's backgrounds to everybody, you know, that we don't know about. There's things that everybody is doing on the DL that we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, don't believe everything you read, but don't automatically deny it because you think you know this celebrity when you only know what they want you to know. But other than that, that's all that was going on with Niall. So now we're going to move on to Harry. So, well, pretty much the main thing, there's not anything really going on with Harry. So y'all know the band in 1975, right? So supposedly they had either, who, who they said? I don't really know the band that much. Um, Maddie Healy, Maddie Healy said I think either Maddie Healy wrote the song or helped him write the song or something like that but the song Change Your Ticket from 4 is supposedly theirs or they wrote it or they helped write it and didn't credit him and just a whole bunch of stuff that just didn't make sense and I'm gonna put the picture on there it's a lot though so I'm just gonna have it up here for a little bit and if you want to read it then just pause the video and read it if you want to and then you know it's okay you know if you're upset about it because it wasn't One Direction's choice to not put him in there for his credit and everything like that you know it's all their, man their management sucks a lot of good artist management suck Maddie took it too far. He said, oh well, there are four guys who queued up outside an arena to sing in front of Simon Cowell. Do they really have any artistic credibility? That sounds like a mean thing to say, but it's a good question. Like, do they? And I'm like, first of all, homie, don't start questioning One Direction because you don't, you don't know. You don't know anything about this artistic ability type thing or whatever you're trying to state because he's trying to throw 
trash on their name and I don't appreciate it because this is my band. I like this band a lot and I don't appreciate that he's getting mad at them just because their management fucked up. Like that's that wasn't their fault, you know? So and then everybody has screenshots of Harry, you know, always talking about the nineteen seventy five and their music and Harry loves their music and everything like that. Probably not anymore, but you know, he loves their music and always tweeted about their music. But there was this one girl who I saw her on Tumblr and she had said that she was with the 1975 on Spotify when they only had 5,000 streams and she said whenever they had whenever Harry had started promoting their music because he actually listened to their album he actually liked their songs then their views started you know going up and people started listening to them and started noticing them and knowing who they were and everything so she's like he shouldn't be throwing trash on their name when Harry's been helping them out and stuff it's just oh, too much Zane is killing it he's just a little boy for Bradford and he's smashing it you know his song pillow talk made it to number one in UK on the hot 100 first chart single and I that is crazy it's absolutely crazy also Zane will be on Jimmy Fallon on the 17th because he's gonna be performing pillow talk so that means <laughs> that means next Wednesday Zane is going to be performing by himself for the first time I think we all need to pray. And <laughs> Nicki Minaj, let me let me repeat that. Nicki Minaj, you know, Queen, she followed him on Twitter. Let me tell you something. If there will be a collaboration with Nicki Minaj and Zayn, he will have slayed the universe. I so the person who wasn't problematic as much last week got a couple problems going on with him this week so let's talk about louis supposedly freddie's birth certificate got leaked and everything so everybody's looking at it and whatnot so louis and brianna's signatures are blacked out for mother and father so of course the fbi the wendy fbi and the larry fbi were investigating and everything and they're trying to figure out First of all, how did we even get a picture of this birth certificate if the birth certificate only goes to the parents? You know what I'm saying? Didn't know paps get that close. First of all, why would they be flouncing it around so the paps could get pictures of it, right? So how did the paps get this picture? Somebody leaked this picture. Somebody had to have taken a picture of the birth certificate and leaked it to the entire universe and blacked out their names. I want to know why their names are blacked out. Something's not adding up with that. Something ain't adding up with that for your name to be blacked out. You should be proud that this is your child. I mean, you signed it, so you're proud about it. So, just saying. And another thing is that the birth certificate date says 2-3-2015. Are they going to explain to me that that's a typo? Or is this baby a year old? What? Talk to me. What's going on? Louie had posted a picture a couple days ago, and everybody who has him on notifications uh, for Instagram freaked out just to find out that it was a picture of a badly burnt pancake. <laughs> and he's talking about the pancake day, and everybody's all like, you seriously gave me a heart attack for a pancake, because yeah, everybody's thinking that he's going to post a picture of a baby or a selfie or something like that. Well, we know who cooks in the family, and it's not him. Okay, let's talk about this whole Larry's are getting sued. Not me! Everybody's all like, oh my gosh, Larry's are getting sued. And that was trending on Twitter. And I was like, why? I was like, I, and first of all, I was like, so out of all these years, everybody's finally trying to sue us? Like, what took everybody so long? Like, what, what's going on? Brianna Jungworth, Jung, Jungworth. See, what's with Louis dating these girls? I cannot pronounce their last names. I don't know that girl. Brianna goes to war with Larry with Larry Stylinson shippers and Louis Tomlinson fans hires a legal team. And then there was a tweet that said, I can't wait for all of this to be over. I thought this was what I wanted, but now I want my life back. Okay, well then you should you messed with the wrong fandom. I, sorry, not sorry. Brianna is suing Larry. He's which I hate that they say Larry's because that puts us all in a hole. Like all of us did something. I tell you one thing, I'm not getting sued. I don't care what nobody. I'm not getting sued. Bye. Anyway, she must have taken pictures of things of people saying some stuff or whatever. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and say that my Larry's don't say that because a lot of Larry's do just say stuff that's stupid and that they shouldn't say but they say it anyway because they try to get under people's skin and 
that it just happens and I don't know what's going on with this suit thing but she losing it and she she need to go to sleep okay so last but not least we're going to talk about everything as a whole all of One Direction news including Zayn news all together that needs to be announced how you feel you feeling old yet it's been a full year since the on the road again tour started bruh Y'all do realize that that's the tour that started all this shit, right? Y'all do realize that that is the tour that blew this fandom to pieces in the good way and mainly the bad way because of how that tour ended. <laughs> okay, so we have more um, One Direction breakup drama that's going on. Um, as some of y'all know, I've already said that if One Direction break up, I won't be shocked. Um, I'm not saying I'm not going to be sad. I'm saying I'm not going to be shocked because boy bands don't last forever. And again, I know I'm going to have people who are going to say, oh no, they said they were coming back. They promised. Honey, I get that. Honestly, I do. But you can't, and you can't trust everybody. And I'm hoping that they do. If they do come back, that's great. That is amazing. I want them to prove me wrong. But if they don't, you know, you got to prepare yourself for something like that. This is what it says. It says, what a feeling in history. Despite claims that they would only be going on a short break, the split became official in early 2016 as the remaining four decided to pursue solo interests like singing, production, acting, and in case of Tomlinson, even fatherhood. So you either believe that or you don't. Ugh. Another thing that's going, okay, so this thing is going on with the, with Larry okay and I've been seeing mixed feelings about this so supposedly there's a um art exhibit in London produced by who produced by Owen Perry who is a a super dark Larry and he made this art thing that has a Harry look-alike and a Louis look-alike where people go and watch them dance with each other and undress themselves so I've, I've heard like a lot of, oh wow, where can I go to see this? I need to go see this from many Larrys. And I've heard a lot of, that's disgusting, I can't type thing, you know. And I'm kind of on both sides because, not that it's disgusting, but it, I just think it's weird because you have people watching it. I don't know. I just feel like stuff like that should only stay in our fandom and the outside world shouldn't hear about Larry until Larry is ready for the world to hear about Larry. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. And last but not least, this has got to be one of the biggest dramas of all, okay? So listen, all right? Listen real closely, okay? Okay, so February 24th is when the Brit Awards are. OT4 is going to be there. Little Mix is going to be there. Naughty Boy is going to be there. Zayn and Gigi are going to be there. <laughs> wait, wait, there's more. Zane will be around his girlfriend, his boyfriend, because <laughs> ZMAF, his ex fiance, her band who hate him, his ex band, his ex best friend Louis, and Naughty Boy. See, it's already it's already not collaborating. See, we have more. We have more. One Direction and Naughty Boy are up for the same award. <laughs> See, wait, 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 we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Little Mix are performing Secret Love Song. Zane is going to be there. And then they put in quotes saying, not saying that it's about him, but like three years, you know, it's going to be awkward that, you know, okay. <laughs> They'll sing it in front of Larry, which the lyrics are about their hidden relationship, which is true. And probably denial rumors because Louie will be due to pay his first month of child support. I'm so done. <laughs> But he won't pay it unless he knows the child is his. Freddie equals the 21st. Oh, shit. Wait, <laughs> that means Freddie's going to be a month old. <laughs> okay, Freddie's going to be a month old on the 21st. And the Brits are on the 24th. Y'all, what we going to do? Okay, so that's all I have for everybody this Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's a lot going on. You know, there, there's... There's quite a bit of things going on. I was pretty preachy today, and I don't apologize for that because I feel like people need to hear some of the stuff that I say. You feel me? If you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button and become a sour and join our community because we spread the love and we spread the rumors. So be messy with us. So I will surely see you guys next time. Remember, keep your head up and smile and always know that somebody has your back. Bye!
could make it.